Good Friday morning, everyone. Let's do a video blog as we kick off the final day of the work week. Uh, not a washout today, much like yesterday. It's going to rain a little bit at times, and there'll be times in which it's as dry. So let's uh, let's get to, to what's going on this morning. We have a front off to the north, and this is the front that is going to trigger uh, possibly some thunderstorms in a few spots this afternoon. This is also the front that's going to wash away the moisture and give us a nice weekend coming up. But uh, yeah, kind of an unsettled day today. And, you know, there's not a whole lot going on this morning as of uh, 824. A couple of showers up around Route 87 and points north in, in Trumbull County and heading over towards Greenville, Stoneboro, Grove City, uh, place, Jackson Township, places like that over in Mercer County. But the rain is real light and real spotty. Most of us just kind of having a cloudy kind of kind of murky morning out there this morning. Let me uh, take off the uh, fronts here. Uh, today is going to be a day where the atmosphere will try to become unstable enough to support more lightning and thunder than we had yesterday. In fact, the uh, Storm Prediction Center has a marginal risk as far north as uh, southern Ohio. That's the darker green here. That's a higher chance of severe weather. I'm not concerned about severe weather here, but as you can see, the, the SBC does have us firmly in the general thunderstorm area in that uh, lighter shade of green today. Let's show you the uh, simulated radar as we go forward through time. Here's a couple of hours from now at 10 o'clock. Still not much going on. The radar should start to fill in as we head towards lunchtime. So here's noon, scattering of showers around, maybe an isolated rumble of thunder. And as we go towards 1, 2, 3 o'clock this afternoon, you know, as this front starts to uh, squeeze some of this moisture, I think uh, not only can there be showers around, but uh, some possible thunder as well. This is 3 o'clock this afternoon, and then as we go towards evening, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock is when activity should start to wane from north to south. So our, our best window for some thunderstorm activity today will be maybe 2 o'clock this afternoon to 4 o'clock, maybe 5 at the latest. I think the last places to see the rain will be south of 224. Everything's going to kind of shrivel up from uh, from north to south this afternoon. Uh, as far as the instability goes, you know, this isn't through the roof this afternoon, but, uh, you know, a couple of hundred joules of, uh, of CAPE, Convective Available Potential Energy. This is a, a meteorological term. It's, a, it's a, an indice that we look at when we try to figure out how unstable the atmosphere is going to be. And, and the, our high-res model here is showing a, a couple hundred or a few hundred joules of CAPE around the region this afternoon. That's, that's definitely enough to support thunder. Generally not as high as you would want to see it if you're looking for severe thunderstorms. And again, we're not looking for that. Uh, the Cape is definitely a little higher off to our south and west. So bottom line for you, showers here and there today. Maybe some thunder in some spots as we get into the afternoon particularly. And then we're going to keep the clouds tonight. A great weekend coming up. I think uh, the weekend is, is going to be just fantastic. Now tomorrow may start cloudy. <clears throat> but we, we get into sunshine in the afternoon. And then tomorrow night as this high pressure system builds overhead, be pretty cold. Uh, we could be dealing with patchy frost tomorrow night. Uh, probably not a hard freeze, but some patches of frost tomorrow night and first thing Sunday morning. And then Sunday afternoon, that high slips east. Warm front off to our north Sunday afternoon. And we'll be firmly in the warm sector. I think we'll get into the 70s on Sunday and maybe 80 on Monday. All right. Jess is in the Weather Center this morning. She'll have your update on TV at midday. You can watch on your mobile device if you're not near a TV. And I'll be in this evening on 21 News at 6 and 11. Have a great Friday.